Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very, very long time, but we beg and we better. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to build a relationship with God. So a lot of people say build your relationship with God, um, and they're right, but I don't see a lot of people actually say how to, um, and so we're gonna talk about that today. And I pray this helps you, and I pray that as I speak, it would be the Holy Spirit speaking through me, but let's get into it. I've got a couple of steps. Um, first one is salvation. So before you even get to know God, before you even have a relationship with him, um, before you really delve deep into that relationship and that walk with God, you need to say the salvation prayer. You need to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour. And how do we do that? Basically, it is um, acknowledgement and it is realising that Jesus Christ died for you. He died for your sins and that he rose on the third day. Salvation prayer, you would say, Lord, I accept you as my personal Lord and Saviour. I believe you died on the cross and you rose on the third day. Lord, come and live in me. Change my heart. Change my mind. Change my life. I want to live for you, Lord. I believe. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I've done some crazy things in my past. But Lord, I pray that you would wipe me clean, wash me clean. Lord, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I believe what you did for me lord come and take place in my life so after you say that and you believe it with your heart you have given your life to christ okay so that's the first step how to actually start your walk with god and how to start your walk how to start your walk with jesus the first step is salvation so giving your life to christ step two be in constant prayer prayer is conversation so imagine it it's a relationship right so imagine that you have a friend and you never speak like at all you don't speak you're not going to have much of a friendship right you're not going to be able to know how the person's feeling you're not going to know what upsets them what makes them happy you don't know anything about them because you don't commune with each other you don't talk with each other you don't text you don't call you don't meet up you don't do anything right it's the same thing with jesus if you do not speak to him how do you expect him to speak to you? How do you expect that open flow of communication if you are not willing to talk to him daily? Right, so prayer is just a conversation. This is in Proverbs 3, 6, acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. So it's about acknowledgement. It's about always staying in communion with Jesus. So always talking to him, always praying to him. And um, there's a whole breakdown of how to pray in Luke 11. So you can go ahead and read all of that. Um, but I'm gonna leave all of the um, Bible verses in the description down below as well. Um, but yeah, so that's step number two is to pray and have communion with God. Step number three is to be in your word. I cannot stress it enough. To study the word of God is so important. It's so important it's so important it's 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 so i can't stress it enough it's so important um and to put on the full armor of god and what is the armor of god so we have i'm looking back down at my notes by the way um so we have the armor of god and this is explained in ephesians 6 13 to 20 the armor of god the word of god is described as the sword of the spirit then we have the belt of truth the shoes of peace um the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and um, the body armor of god's righteousness so it's so important imagine the word of god being described as a sword of the spirit which means if the enemy comes at you with words and with thoughts that you're not good enough and whatever you have the sword of the spirit to say listen i'm god's masterpiece you can't chat to me no kind of way because i know what the word says about me i know what god says about me so you can't come and chat nonsense to me because i already know it's already written on my heart it's already in my mind i know what god says about me so you can't come up here yeah and chat madness to me because i already know what i you know what i mean so it's so important to have the word of god cemented in your heart and so how do we study the word of god because a lot of people just pick up the bible and read it and think well i'm not actually understanding any of that so the beautiful thing is salvation so how you remember how we talked about salvation in step number one when you um, accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour, you get the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it says that in Acts um, of the Apostles 2.38, repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptised in the name of Jesus and you will f and uh, for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So when you receive 
um, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is described as an advocate, as a helper. So when you open up your Bible, you say, Holy Spirit, please reveal new things to me. Open up my eyes to things that I've not seen before. Lord, as I read scripture, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would help me understand, help me interpret it, interpret it in a way that I will understand. Um, and then you you pick your verse or the Holy Spirit might lead you to a verse or to a chapter or to a scripture and you meditate on it and you study it and um, read it and the Holy Spirit will help you. There's There was literally a time last week where I prayed that prayer and as I was reading, and now I've read this verse, well, I say verse, maybe like three verses. I've read these like scriptures over and over again. I've known, I know these scriptures. And before I had asked for the Holy Spirit's help, like way back when I had had notes and the notes weren't wrong, but they weren't accurate, if that makes sense. So like, I just kind of interpreted it wrong. But what I said, what I was saying wasn't wrong in, gen- in in generalistic terms. What I was saying was correct, but it wasn't correct in correlation to the scripture, if that makes sense. But with the Holy Spirit's help, honestly, it was so crazy. Like I was reading out the scripture and as I was reading out the scripture, it was like the Holy Spirit was talking to me through me. So I was teaching myself, but it was the Holy Spirit. It was crazy. Like it was so crazy. So that's the kind of help that we need to understand God's word. So that is step number three. So, so far we have salvation, we have prayer and we have reading the word. Okay. So step number four is to go to church. It's so important to build community, to build people around you that are going to pray for you, that are going to uplift you, that are going to hold you accountable and that you can do the same for those other people as well. It's so important to have friends that are like-minded, to have community that's like-minded, to have elders that have gone through the seasons that you're going through, that have gone through the situations, the trials, the tribulations that you're going through now and they can advise you. It's so important to be in a Bible-believing good church it's very important that you before you attend these different churches to pray and that's why it's so important to pray and to be in your word it's so important to find a bible believing church because there are a lot of churches out there who pick and choose parts of the bible to believe um and not the whole bible so it's super important and that's why i say that prayer is so important because the holy spirit will guide you to a good church but you have to be in your word and you have to pray. So it's all of these steps are kind of a domino effect because you won't know God without salvation and you won't know God without prayer. You won't know God without um, reading your word. And if you want to find a church, you won't be able to find a church if you don't have prayer and you won't be able to find a church if you're not in your word because it's going to help you. It's going to help you. You might find a church. I mean, Google Maps is there, you know, but are you going to find a church God wants you to be at if you don't follow the rest of the steps, you know? So it's so super important that you're following these steps. And the last um, the last thing is repentance. So what is repentance? Repentance is simply, in, in the simplest of terms, is acknowledging that you've sinned and is saying sorry to God, basically. In, in the shortest way possible that I can say it, that's what repentance is. Um there are times where I've been in an argument with someone and I've gone in on them and I know this and I know that it wasn't right what I did but I had to go back to God and say listen God I'm so sorry like they got the better of me it shouldn't have happened but I pray that you would help me in this area please forgive me from the bottom of my heart I'm so sorry and God forgives you God's God's a God of forgiveness God's a God of grace is a god of love i hope this video helped some of you guys um i'm going to be doing a lot of christian content um if you don't know i have tiktok um so i'm gonna leave everything down below i'm gonna be doing so many different topics so if there's any topic that you want me to talk about or you want me to invite some friends and we can talk about it like cute little get together vibe and talk about it then i am more than happy to do so and i think it'd be super cute i'm also going to be doing how to dress modestly but still look cute because listen dressing modestly doesn't mean you have to wear a bin bag like i'll be so real like you can still look cute you can still feel beautiful you can still dress nice and look modest and honor god with your body so i'm going to be doing a lot of stuff like that um a lot of stuff on self-worth and self-love 
and self-image and what God says about us um, because I think especially in this world in this generation right now the world is the most depressed it's ever been and a lot of it is because of you know all the wars and everything that's going on but also majority of it is actually from social media and how people portray things and oh I've got to be this body shape and oh I've got to have um this kind of eyebrows and I've got to have this kind of bum and I've got to have this hips and a snatched waist and big boobs and small boobs and 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 everything and it's a lot so I'm here to help build us up as brothers as sisters in Christ as siblings in Christ as as a family and that's why I say it's so important to have community so I hope you've really enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching Bye. What if I fall? What if I break? He will take it all. Trust in what.